I made a Dead by Daylight lore-based coffee recipe that's technically illegal. So after taking a break from some DVD matches, I started working on some other stuff and I wanted coffee. I remembered about a month ago, I saw a coffee recipe behavior posted on Twitter. So after taking a break from some very important other stuff, that I was researching, I found this on Behavior's Twitter. It's basically a pumpkin spice latte variation with maple syrup, uh, recipe seems all right, photo looks terrible, and I think we could spice this up a bit. So I started going through Michaela's lore on the Dead by Daylight site, and I found this part of this clip. Welcome one, welcome all to the Moonstone. Please enjoy today's special pumpkin ghoul pie with, may I suggest, a cup of franken spice coffee. So with that, I went and I found a local spice shop and I started researching different spices and this is the recipe I came up with. So let's go. Four ingredients you're gonna need. Some cassia cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon, whole nutmeg, allspice berries, some cloves, some ground ginger, some green cardamom, whole mace, vanilla bean powder, dried lesser gall and gall root, dried orange peel, mixed peppercorns, fresh orange zest, maple sugar, and the illegal ingredient tonka beans. This bean is one of the most unique ingredients I've ever tried. I'm going to place a link from the Flavor Lab where you can learn more about tonka beans. Flavor Lab also has one of the most unique food YouTube channels out there right now. Please check out the link in the comments and while you're there, comment on this video what other DVD recipes you'd like to see and don't forget to subscribe. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dry toast the spices over medium heat. This is an important step as it releases oils from the spices and wakes up their full flavor. I started with the allspice berries, chucked them in the spice grinder, and then started grinding. Then I threw in the cloves, cardamom, both cinnamons, mace, uh, dry roast it over medium heat until slightly smoking. Ideally you want to do each spice individually since they release their oils at different temps, but it's not necessary. I then placed them onto a piece of parchment paper and started grinding it into batches and setting aside. I then added the dried orange peel, vanilla bean powder, and dried ginger, grated in some nutmeg and some of the dried lesser gall and gall root. Now, get your forearms ready because this stuff's harder than your mom makes me and it takes fucking forever to grate. Uh, so enjoy the time lapse here. Then we're going to grate in the tonka beans. The fresh orange zest. And then remember, we forgot the salt and pepper, so throw that in also. Regrind this all in again.
straight into a bowl over the maple sugar. Dry whisk, re-blend one more time to make sure it's a super fine powder. Then bottle up and we're ready to make our pumpkin cream for our coffee. We are gonna need some canned pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, condensed milk, and our frankenspice. Place the pumpkin puree you heated on the stove for about five minutes over medium heat into a blender with the condensed milk and frankenspice. Blend over high, thin out with hot water as you need to to make sure it's the right consistency and be careful when you're blending hot liquids in a blender. Now, to make our Frankenspice coffee, place three tablespoons of the pumpkin cream in a mug and pour over your coffee of choice. And don't forget to sprinkle extra spice on the top and make sure to enjoy. It. 